What's wrong with him? Uh, he's pissed. He thinks he failed. Thor has suffered tremendous loss, more so than any other character. Asgard has been destroyed, and now he has to suffer the loss to Thanos. How does a person who has suffered two devastating losses like that move forward, and how would he process that? Every aspect of him was broken. Some tragic things have happened, and he's decided, you know what? I'm just going to check out and eat pizza and drink beer, and, and that's what he's done, you know? You all right? Yes, I'm fine. Why? Why is his daughter looking all right? You look like melted ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> so what's up? You just here for a hang? He's a very depressed, sort of removed Thor, becoming the opposite of what we've known him to be in the past. Don't you think I'm down there wallowing in my own self-pity, feeling sorry for myself, hoping to be rescued, hoping to be saved, but you're wrong, OK? But the great thing about Thor is, like, there's something in his spirit that stands in contrast to where he's let himself go physically and emotionally. There's beer on the ship. And what kind? Being able to do this new version of Thor, it's hugely liberating and, 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 and fun. We had a um, big sort of fat suit, which I think was sort of 60 or 70 pounds. This little move. Yeah, yeah, that's the shimmy. It was the hottest I've ever been. <laughs> How does that feel? Oh, I mean, amazing. Looks like it's in the right <laughs> And we had, obviously, the beard, the hair, and had these things that go in the mouth to kind of plump out my cheeks a bit, which sort of had a little effect on the voice as well, but probably in a good way. It was, it was a different thought. Hey, my name's Thor. I'm 22 years old. Live on Asgard, and I like sugar. We're shooting a superhero film, and here's one of the most recognizable superheroes, but he's just turned into a new character. What Chris does with that character and how it just kind of has this shift, his excitement was really palpable. <laughs> he had been playing the character for a while and really wanted to find something new. He has such dexterity as a talent. He's incredibly funny. He has just really lovely energy. Is he asleep? No, no. I'm pretty sure he's dead. <laughs> Thor's new look will seem like it's being played for laughs, but thanks to the performance that Chris Hemsworth gives, it becomes very touching. Let me, let me, just let me, let me do this. Let me do something right. And we see over the course of the film how he tries to regain his sense of purpose and regain his sense of redemption. <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> and at the end of the day, even though he's carrying a lot more weight, he, he's still the Thor that we love. I'm still worthy. The Avengers pull him back in to have a sense of duty. He finally comes around, and he's a full-on Avenger with it carrying another 80 pounds, though. Look at the first couple steps. <laughs> I thought I was cooking. I thought I was going so quick. <laughs> Maybe you want to give a battle cry. Oh, yeah, you're good one, man. <laughs> and felt like I was playing a completely different character. There was a real opportunity to just kind of swing for the fences, and it was so much fun. What do you think is coursing through my veins? Cocoa puffs, nachos, embarrassment. Winding. <laughs> <laughs>